Focus up, boy. Pain is not your concern. is even bigger than Vader got. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. I wonder what happened to him. It is a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mozognir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eker, the very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. <laughs> Betray us! To me! Okay, I'm coming! Huh.
Mimir, why did the Dwarf King want this armor so badly? What's so special about it? There are many legends behind the Dve Grathikar. A suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. But the one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. Yet this plagued land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble, and rarely does it pay off. If you say so. Not a very welcoming place, is it? It needs three entry stones. Still won't open? Looks like we need three. Strong here. Keep your guard up. We're in. Okay. Here we go. you expect? I don't know. West Ruin, I guess? Maybe the throne room's in better shape.
Look here. Another. Starcather. Wow. That's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six? Seven? Eight? Could he shoot four bows at once? More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor cut him down to size. It's what he does. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. A large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous. getting louder. They sound almost like... Hellwalk! Hey, look at this! A blood trail! There's a passage behind this throne. A secret passage? Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage.
Boy. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down. The things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. I wonder what this place looked like in better times. Conan's guard was a beautiful land in its heyday, before the Dwarf King's obsession poisoned his mind. How could he let that happen? The Dwarf blindly trusted in the legend and pursued it without thought to the consequences. This is the result. Trust is a gamble. Like you said, and the Dwarf King lost. Father! <laughs> 
You found the legendary materials? Incredible. Oh, this is so exciting. Meet me back at the temple and we'll get started right away. You don't need to make excuses to say hello. <sighs> Okay. What about the giant with eight arms? Starkath the Mighty, he was called. If the giants ever had anything so organized as an army, Starkath would have been their general. An opinion, in retrospect, I should have kept to myself. But no, as Odin's advisor, I kept him advised. And having bent his will towards Starkath's doom, there was no dissuading him. But even Thor wasn't stupid enough to take on Starkath on his own. No. Instead, the Aesir set forth slanders upon Starkath's name, branding him throughout the realms as a monster to be feared. They said he abducted an elf queen who killed herself rather than be ravished by the giant. Lies, of course, but you're too young for her story. In the end, even the Vanir gods and the armies of Midgard were roused to the cause. They surrounded Starkath, showered him with arrows until he was brought to his knees. He surrendered, hoping by trial he could clear his name. Thor took advantage and ripped off one of Starkath's arms, which only made it easier to sever another and another until he was satisfied. Relieved of six arms and too much blood, Starkath perished upon the battlefield. Ah, I regret it to this day, you know. I told myself there was nothing I could do, but I wish I'd tried.
You boys look right beaming. We found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... so... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh.